Let's transplant a few pine trees today. So I have my shovel. I've got the RTV X1140 over here and I've got some pine trees behind me. I've moved a few of these pine trees already, uh, but that was before I got this RTV X1140. It is really very handy because beforehand I was walking. It is, I don't know, uh, 200 yards from the house over here and another uh, 250 or 300 yards to where I'm gonna put these pine trees. Papa cut most of the pine trees off of the homestead before I got here. This property has been in my family for 100 plus years. I know for a fact that this has been in our family for five generations. It's probably been in here at least six generations, maybe more than that. So he's done some things on this place before I got here. When we got here, there was no septic tank. There was no electric service. There was no well. It was pretty much just raw land in this area. Even though uh, people had lived here before, it was before it was really developed much. There wasn't a house. There wasn't anything here. Pine trees have a habit of doing exactly what you see behind me. There's several over here. I only see one big pine tree over here yeah I only see one big pine tree over here and because this one big tree there's several of these little trees and I'm gonna move them over here in my property line hedgerow food forest in my property line hedgerow food forest I have first arbor vitae then I've got black locust then I've got red bud then I've got wild plum I think then I've got nanny berry is that it I can tell you when we get over there but I've got several rows of trees and I'm trying to create a hedge between our place and our neighbor's place these pine trees often are somewhat fast growing and I've been moving them uh, right next to the property line, like almost on the property line, uh, right on the other side of my Arbor Vitae, and I'll show you in a second. If you want to transplant trees, this is the time of year to do it because things are dormant. Even though there's some green on here, uh, these are evergreens. They're kind of in dormancy. So I'm taking some of these smaller ones and I'm moving them up to the property line. I'm only doing a few at a time. I think I've already done like nine, and I'm going to do just a few more today. Uh, and maybe by the spring, I'll have all that I want moved moved over there uh, to create that hedge between us. I'm just going to dig these up. Take a look. All I'm doing is uh, making a little hole around it. Really not very far. Maximum is about a foot. And I'm pulling out the tree roots. So this is a larger one, about five foot tall. Uh, but I got a couple smaller ones. Here are two smaller ones. And these are going to do just fine. I'll show you some that I transplanted earlier in the year, but they're still green. Looks like they're doing just fine. So let's take these that I did, take them up to the property line. All right, here we are over at the property line. There is another row that I forgot. I'm putting the pine up here, then the arbor vitae, then the black locust, then the red bud, then red mulberry, then wild plum, then nanny berry. I've got the red mulberry up here. And as you can see, it's kind of close to my neighbor's place over here. So I'm trying to create this divide. In a few years, this will grow up and it'll provide a lot of privacy for us and for them. So it's really a mutual benefit. Uh, even though I'm putting everything on my side of the property line. So let's get just a little bit closer and I'll show you the trees I've already planted and then plant a couple more. All right, so this is one of the pine trees right here that I planted. I planted this probably two or three months ago now, trying to stagger them. So uh, either side of this are the arbor vitae and here's the black locust and right in line with the black locust is this pine tree. I'm gonna put the next one right over here and I'm gonna keep on going over here just a bit further. So I don't know if you can see this post back here behind me, uh, but I placed this post right here. It's just on the inside of the property line here. I'm gonna put every Thing, kind of right in line with that post. We had some surveyors come out and they surveyed and placed some pins, uh, one over there and one way back there. It's a straight line right over here. So uh, I placed most of these posts uh, right here. So I would be able to see where the property line is and put them just a little bit further so it wouldn't infringe on our neighbors any at all. So when you're digging the hole, you need to make sure that it's nice and uh, big and round. So the soil has been loose in there, make it easy for the roots. So I'm just gonna dig the hole here, pull the dirt out and then put it back in around this. Really couldn't be much simpler. I don't even amend the soil any at all. These are just transplants. I got way more over there and they will do fine. These things want to live. It's that easy. I'll do it again over here so you can see. Here's where uh, the Arbor Vitae are. I'm gonna come over just a little bit and do it right here. And 
and just put the soil line just about the same place as it was before. There you go, all done. The last question you might be asking is why would I move pine trees over here? They're not really that valuable as far as lumber or anything like that, but they do create these needles, and these needles are really acidic. So whenever I plant my blueberries later, I might plant some right up here, and I might just scoop up some of the needles in order to move them where I want to create the soil, make the soil a little bit more acidic for those. Uh, also, again, they will create a screen up here. So the arborvitae will grow up kind of pyramid shape. So the one right here behind me, the one over here, these others. And then in the middle of that pyramid, as it comes up like this, it'll come up like this. So it'll be leave a gap around like that. This pine tree will crumb up and fill up that gap. So create us a nice screen here. We're really enjoying ourselves over here in Western Kentucky on our 150 acre farm. Uh, Nana and Papa live up the hill from us. Our four kids, Chad, our friend, my wife, Rua. Uh, we really have a great time here and we wanna share those things with you. If you like the things that we're doing, if you'll like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss the notification. That really helps us out. We're also trying to make a push for 5,000. So if you will share this with others, uh, we're about 3,600 subscribers right now. If you'll share this with others, maybe we can get to 5,000 subscribers soon so we can get that content to more and more people. We really appreciate you. We love you. Thanks so much for all you do. Bye.